Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're giving you guys a reaction to the brand new song and video from Iron Maiden titled The Writing on the Wall. Now before we talk about this a little bit more, just want to remind you guys to check out Slay Thy Name, get your name slayed, links are in the description below, use code Two Toe Tags to get 15% off your name slayed. Anyway. We've never covered Iron Maiden on this channel before. We've been doing this for like four years, have not done it yet. I love Iron Maiden a lot. They're one of my favorite bands. Just such great consistent stuff throughout the years. And, you know, it's been six years since they've released any new music. Yeah, it's been six years. And like you said, our channel's been on for about four years. So this is actually our first opportunity really to jump on something Iron Maiden. I am so glad we are finally getting to cover Iron Maiden on this channel. It almost felt like a crime that they weren't <laughs> in our video list somewhere. Now, I've heard different things about this video. I have not seen it or heard anything about it, but I've seen people posting on Twitter and things like that. Their thoughts. I've heard nothing. Um, it looks like an animated music video, which is always cool. It's a little lengthy, so I think we should just jump into it now and see. Hopefully it's good. I'm hopeful. We'll see how it goes. That was such a badass music video, man. That was such a cool video. Yeah, I agree. I love that video. And I think um, this samurai version of Eddie is probably the coolest iteration of Eddie, oh, bar none. Hell yeah. And that just looks so fucking cool. Yeah, that was sick. One thing I really loved about this video is that they kept referencing older albums throughout the whole thing. Like, at mm -hmm. the end, you may have noticed there, like, the four Eddies on the motorcycles. One of them was, like, Power Slave, Dance of Death, Killers, yeah. and um, Somewhere in Time. But there was small bits, like Book of Souls was on there on the Ed Force One. Um, there was like a tombstone said no prayer for the dying. Like all over this video there's references and I love that. Yeah, it's really cool when they include stuff like that. I mean, it's just fun to watch and pick little things out here and there. And it's just, you can tell they put thought into it. Instead of just oh. animating anything, they, they put some thought into it. Yeah. What did you think of the song? You know what? This, I think, I'm really glad Iron Maiden is in a place that they're in right now because they have so many albums and a lot of them are the Iron Maiden sound that everyone knows. And it's good. It's great. Iron Maiden's great. But I really like how more recently they've been experimenting with their sound. The Book yeah. of Souls was a very different album for Iron Maiden. I thought it was great and I thought it was great that they took that step to go and experiment. I think it worked out. Yeah. This, I find to be another example of that. Kind of a more country or acoustic sounding song. Yeah. But still has the Iron Maiden flavor, not only with Bruce Dickinson's voice, but honestly the solo is really, the guitar solo is really kind of, you know, you could see the Iron Maiden personality in there. Yeah. If you subtract those two things, I don't know if you could really tell it was an Iron Maiden song. That's the thing. Like, I can see why Iron Maiden fans might be upset at this. Because that's why mm. I saw a lot of people that were upset at this. Um, and I understand that, but I think Iron Maiden's at a point in their career where they can do stuff like this and I don't want to just say get away with it, but it's, it's okay. They've done it all. Yeah. Right? They have a lust, lustrous, lustrous. What's the word? They have a very vast discography. They have a very good, yeah, discography. And they've done a lot of things. As TV Fisher said, they've experimented before. Maybe not quite to this level. This seems very toned back. Mm-hmm. But I didn't hate it. It was still, I was still grooving with it. The riff was very catchy. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be in my head later. Probably tomorrow I'm going to be thinking, what am I thinking of? Oh yeah, that new Iron Maiden song. I think it's one of those kind of riffs because it's got this hook that's, you know, I don't know. I thought it was well written and I think if people gave it another chance, it would grow on them. I thought it was okay. Now, I'm really interested because this isn't really attached to any kind of album they've announced. They haven't announced any album or anything, but I think this would fit really well in the context of an album, like really, really well. So I'm looking forward to a possible new Iron Maiden album. It's been six years since the Book of Souls, so I hope that comes to fruition. Yeah, and I think uh, that's probably a likely possibility here. Yep. Anyway, guys, that's all we got for you today. Remember to like the video. If you like it, comment. Tell us in the comments below. What do you think of this song? Do you love this Samurai Eddie? Because yeah. how can you not? <laughs> that's badass. Totally. Anyway, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'm TV Fish. And I'll buy myself. We'll see you guys later.